Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Standard Time. My name's Rob and I'm just a guy here in Denver, Colorado who loves to talk about watches. So, tonight I'm making a video that I didn't think I'd be making. Um, I consider myself uh, a watch collector enthusiast and I thought that I'd be able to pick out a fake watch from a mile away. Uh, that was mistake number one. Mistake number two was assuming that nobody would make a high quality fake of an Oris Aquas. Okay. Um, honestly, right now holding them, I can't tell you which one is real and which one is fake just by holding them like this. But one of these guys is fake. Um, and another one of my mistakes was just buying this watch at a, uh, a pretty cheap price. It was an auction, so I ended up getting the watch for $620, which is a frickin' steal considering these things go for uh, over $2,000, like $2,100 MSRP. So picking up a watch that normally goes for over $2,000 for $600 and some change, it's probably too good to be true. Um, but um, I knew I was going to be protected by eBay if things went south. And guess what? They went south. Uh, before I get into close up on the watches, comparing side by side, I want to thank a, another YouTube, uh, another YouTuber named Cubex68. Cubex68. Uh, he has a watch channel as well. And if it wasn't for him, um, the watch that I bought for my friend would have been delivered to my friend and he would have been happy and I would have been happy and we wouldn't have been any wiser to the fact that we had just purchased a fake watch. So, um, guys, it's pretty scary. Well, the fake is very, very good. It's, uh, it's hard to tell the differences between the two. Uh, there are a couple uh, slight differences with the watches, uh, but unfortunately the big difference is with the box. So let's uh, zoom in on these watches and take a look at the real and the fake Oris Aquas. Alright guys, here they are side by side. The one on the left is real, the one on the right is fake. So just visually, uh, take a couple seconds to just look at the differences. Uh, really hard to tell the differences between the two. Um, the only things visually that seemed to pop out to me and my friends looking at the watches was the, the fact that the dates, the font on the dates for the real seems to be a little bit um, brighter than the fake ones so that's a, kind of a lighter white this one is more of a bolder and more white um, and the other thing that we picked out that stood out between the two was if you take a look at the minute uh, indicators in between the uh, the 5, 10, 15 markers, we're talking the, the 6, 7, 8, 9 markers. Notice how they're a little bit brighter, a little bit wider than the fake on the right. Um, at first glance, everything looks great. The crowns are signed, Oris. You have your tri-wing screw heads. But, look at this one right here, guys. Zoom in on that. Notice there's no tri-wing screw head right there. That's because it's on the other side. So this is the fake, the one in my hands. And that is another indicator. And I noticed this on the website. 
on eBay when I was looking to buy this watch, but you know, I didn't, everything else looked great, but I was like, what is up with that? Because my watch has all the Y wing or the tri wing screw heads all facing uh, on the crown side. So that's the other indicator that you might have a fake on your hands right there, which it, it really boggles me because why are they going to go through all this trouble of creating a great fake watch and they're just going to, they're going to do that. Um, why? I mean, even I could have figured out that the real one has all of these tri-slotted screw heads facing all in one direction on the crown side. I don't get it. So, boom. Fake right there. Okay. So, another thing that I noticed uh, reviewing these watches, uh, again, um, it was Cubic 68. He, he said that these bracelets were pretty much identical and that maybe the guy selling the fake watches actually bought the real bracelets. I did notice one, uh, two differences with the bracelets. So the real watches have a brushed side push buttons on the clasp. The fake ones are high polish. And the other thing I noticed, again, they're looking identical, everything. Um, I did notice that on the fake, the three digits here is a K01, Kilo01. And the real one has a Juliet08, J08. Okay, moving on real quick. So, Cubic 68, he highlighted this. And this is the, the biggest thing that really picked up um, besides the, uh, the tri slots being um, not all facing the right way. But the, um, the crowns, the fake right here is, is sharp. It's not as uh, uh, smooth as this one. So literally when you're, when you're touching this at an angle, um, it grabs on your skin and you can definitely tell there's some sharp edges on the inside of that crown right here on the lip of the crown. Uh, the real one is nice and smooth. No problems right there. With the fake right here, that is a brass ring. It's brass in color. And the real one, it's not, it doesn't stand out as much as being a brass ring. So um, I also noticed that in the real one, and I'll throw up pictures from the website, but the Swiss Made Oris High Mech, um, it is not exactly centered in that, that ridge of that rotor. And it seems that this one, um, the fake one, these seem to be lined up in the, the middle of that, um, that plate there. Uh, very similar. They do, they, they sound the same. They've got the same amount of play. So you can't tell the difference between fake or real with the bezel. All right, guys, so now we get to the easier way to tell the differences between the fake and the real. Just take a look at the boxes. Um, the fake box has a uh, wider piece of red showing between the lid and the rest of the box. The, uh, the real one has just a little bit of red. Um, also take a look at the font on the, uh, the Oris. And this is where the difference is really stand out. 
So box come off and take a look at the colors. The manual and the real. And here's the fake, no cardboard. It did come with the product manual. Come on out. So it came with these two. Okay, moving on to just the quality of the boxes. Look at that crap. I mean, it was uh, torn. Uh, take a look at this. This side piece right here was ripped. Um, the authentic one, oops, sorry. The authentic one, hey, it comes with a sticker too. So it gives you a good idea. Um, let's take a look at the boxes. Again, the fake has this design on the top of it. And the reel just comes plain. Now, let's pop open the top. This is what the uh, holder looks like. Okay. There you go. Look at the S's right here. So, this was the same as Cubic's 68's watch. Look at that S, how that one just kind of ends and the real one drops down and comes to a, um, comes down a little bit further. So this is the real deal. Look at the differences in the craftsmanship. You've got glue pieces. This is how it appeared, uh, how it was delivered. This thing was ripped. So, uh, I don't know how that happened. Just the weight of the watch and the box being thrown around caused that to cave in and rip. There's a little bit of red showing on the side of this box. And on the real one, it's just black. So, those are the, that's the difference. So, that's it guys. Um, the boxes are the easiest way to tell if you got a fake or not. Um, the watches, sadly, are very close. One's real and one's fake. And just quickly, that one's got the rough crown. This is the fake. I mean, I literally just have to check it because they look so damn good. All right, guys, I'm sorry for the long video today. There was a lot of information that we had to go over between the real and the fake items. Uh, if you did like the video, hey, please give me a like. I'd appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel. All right, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.